It's time for my session, and I'm going to talk to you about social media marketing trends. If you're excited about it, just want to chat and show me the excitement by saying excited. Show me the excitement by showing, typing the word excited. Or fantastic. But before that, since you guys have come here for the first time, and I would like to tell you about our mission and vision. So Digital Scholar is the institute that I started in 2019. I would like to tell you about what happens at Digital Scholar. So let me quickly play a small video. I'm not going to take more than three minutes of your time before I get started with my session. So here we go ahead and look at Digital Scholar's vision and mission and uh, what we are up to uh, and what we do inside. So it's just going to take one minute of your time. So let's watch this. <music> Thank you so much. So let's get started with the session on the trends of social media marketing. So here we go ahead and look at the trends. Meanwhile, each one of you have participated right now, just joined us. Let me tell you about two important contests. One, you just have to retweet the tweet. The link is shared with you in the chat by the team. So just click on that and retweet that tweet and leave a comment. Two winners today, not one, but two winners will get a thousand final rupees worth voucher to win any of our merchandise you can buy anything from our store and then we also have most active social media person the one who used the hashtag dmd2022 tag us in stories and also shares whatever the learnings have been on twitter and instagram they also enter the contest the winners will be announced by the end of the session some of you asked me for ppts please share that people who stay till the end of the session we will email them exclusively within three days of time period. So ensure that you are here till the end of the session. All right, let's get started. So let's celebrate Digital Marketing Day. Uh, this is presented by Digital Scholar, powered by Swipe Pages, our sponsor for this event. So how many of you here are excited about learning 23 things? Just say me, because it's 2023. So I'm going to share 23 things that's very important for you to invest in the upcoming year. So here we go. The 2023 marketing suit. So Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, ShareChat, Mooj. Uh, these are some of the apps that's going to rock on. B2C, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and uh, TikTok. It's going to rock globally. B2B, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Hyperlocal. These are the channels that people are going to invest big time in. So Share Chat and Moj is something that you are more likely to see booming next year. So let's get started with 23 things that I'm going to talk about, which is going to be the big thing in the social media marketing industry in 2023. So this is Saurav Jain, the founder of Digital Scholar and also founder of Digital Marketing Agency, been in the industry for 15 plus years. And I'm going to share these things only on the base of the experiences. Number one, Instagram automation is the way to manage comments, to ensure that people excitingly share your stories and tag you in the stories. You can allocate a lot of freebies for the same. For example, if you go on Digital Scholars post and comment DM Day, you'll automatically get the invite for this particular event. And that's purely automated. So remember to automate in 2020. 23. This will save a lot of your time and you can make your audience instantly buy from you. Number two, real Instagram. Instagram is becoming real Instagram. Instead of creating different kinds of content, focus. So if you see the post for carousels and all of that before was very, very high, it's gone down now. So post reach after reels is largely for reels. So reels insights before versus now. Now there's a lot more push. It's almost like how TikTok would get people fame. 
Reels will do too. So for your brand, stop investing in other formats of content. Largely focus on Reels. 80% Reels, 20% regular pieces of content. Number three, influencers. When you hire them, hire them for longer duration. Because these influencers are not loyal and they keep talking about multiple brands. So hire them for five posts, six posts, and put that in two months duration so that their followers feel, Are yaar, this girl keeps talking about this brand again and again and again. So there's a lot more value proposition that you create for your audience. So remember the point number three, influencers long engage. Point number four, live streaming shopping. This is going to be the next big trend. I'm sure Instagram is going to launch this for you where people can watch your live and instantly take decisions on what products you show and they click on that and they start buying. It also calls for the statement, in last 2022, I worked with few influencers and I made them do live streaming sale and it worked really well. So what you do is you do live sessions and make their audiences buy in the session and the sale is much, much better. So live stream shopping is going to boom big time in 2023 and it's going to be the biggest trend as with time. Real-time content team. Number five, ask your clients to have a real-time content team or be that support for them because when you work with salons and restaurants, you can't wait for an agency to go take photo only for time to time. You need to real, you need to have real time content going. There needs to be enough gossip in the market that people should look and they should feel, wow, there is so much of content that's generated. So I know of salons and restaurants and businesses, they have real time content teams. So have real time content team and suggest and build real time content team. If you're a business owner, you should have them. Next. Blend of music and dance for brands. Brands cannot be rigid. It has to get lighter because that's what people like to consume. So you can't be, oh, this is my personality type. I'm not going to do this. It's just not going to work, guys. You need to really figure out personality type that matches with the millennials because millennials like to con consume content on the format of music and dance. So create original music for your brand and let your audience take that hook step, that hook music, forward so next time when you're hiring an influencer make them use that music and make those music go viral through them number seven expect clickable link stickers on post and reels this is my prediction okay this is not something that i uh, have read somewhere but since i've been spending so much time on instagram i've been researching one of the biggest hassle for people on Instagram is, Ari, I click on the link in the bio and then people get lost and they're like, they keep DMing, please give me the link. For even today, I had link for this event on my stories. I told people to click on the link in the bio, but still people kept DMing me. So to make life easier, there would be clickable stickers on Reels. It would be on the post. So that when people want to click on certain things, they can actually take that decision. Isn't that amazing? That's going to be cool, right? And if you want it, you should let those guys know by tagging them and tell Mark Zuckerberg and Mossery that we need a definite clickable link on Instagram. The next important thing that you need to be aware of is subscription models. You must be thinking, sort of, why are you speaking so fast? Because that's how much attentive I want you to be inside this session right now. I want you to take notes. I want you to share notes. I want you to be attentive. So learn because there's a lot of value in this session. And I have very less time because we have so many speakers lined up in today's session. Subscription models. Brands need to move beyond posting eight posts a month. They need to start giving subscriptions. They need to give insights of things that people would love to know and they would want to pay for that. So subscription model is going to boom big time. So creators are going to have two lives. One, a life for generic janta and life for the paid audiences. And they will be a lot more real with their paid audiences. So remember that. Number next is, sorry, there's a mistake. The numbers, so ninth one, WhatsApp replacing emails. And that's very important for you to know. With time, we don't, we don't even open our inbox first. There was a time when we would all go open the inbox, including entrepreneurs. But now they open WhatsApp because majority of conversation happens there. So in your marketing funnel, if you're not incorporating WhatsApp as a part of your middle of the funnel or bottom of the funnel strategy, then you're losing big time in 2023. You got to get this right for yourself. The next important thing is rise of WhatsApp commerce. You know, if you use WhatsApp alone as an opportunity to drive sale, have WhatsApp chatbot integrated, 
connect your advertisements to WhatsApp and build WhatsApp communities because right now you can create larger groups. You can drive more sales. So what you should be doing right now, you should be focusing on WhatsApp commerce. If you guys are with me and if you guys are learning a lot, just raise your hand and tell me yes or just go in the chat and say LAL because I could read your chat. So do that now. Lovely. Love the energy from each one of you. Get metaverse ready, guys. Also, let me tell you who are listening to me right now that we have only 3,000 people accommodating in the Zoom live. And if your friends are not able to join, you can ask them to join us on YouTube, okay? So do that. Uh, they can join and subscribe to our Digital Scholar channel and they can watch this live there. But don't miss this bus because we have very limited seats. So stay tuned. Don't leave this bus, okay? Don't leave your seat. It's a very important seat. Get Metaverse ready. You know, I, I happen to see this particular musical concert of Neha Kakar on Metaverse. It looks so real. It looks so fascinating to me. So I just believe that this is going to be the future. And since you know that Mark Zuckerberg has almost invested so much money into this, he will try to make this super successful and push it above his uh, whatever levels that he can. So remember Metaverse, start making your brands Metaverse ready. At least start learning. By the mid of 2023, you have to become Metaverse ready. This is something important augmented reality smart campaigns the way people have been experimenting effects on stories okay you will see brands like gucci and you will see uh, brands like disney and all these uh, makeup brands trying to make people experience products augmented reality wise and share it so if you are a brand which has got budgets and you want to innovate in marketing then you need to really bring a cool effect for your customer there are you guys with me? If you're learning a lot and having a lot of fun, let me know. Tag me in the stories and let the world know that you're having fun right now. Let me know too by tagging me. Now, let me share with you content styles that would triumph in 2023. Each one of you have been creating a lot of content and have been working really hard. But instead of sitting down innovating, you should figure out what's working. And that's what I'm going to share in today's session, what's working. So first, there's a larger market for short videos. You have to understand the attention sp you know, span of people is decreasing day by day. So you need to really go ahead and create an innovate and short of format of content because that's what people like to consume the most. So short of format of content is a very, very important segment for you to invest in. Okay. Next, larger market for short videos on reels and shots. Next, domination of podcast. Why? I just made a statement, sort of you said, shorter format of content, and then you're contradicting and saying dominating, dominating or domination of podcast. Podcast is a lot more real time. People are absolutely real. So people like to see that real conversation going on. We all are so such a big fan of Coffee with Karan. And the reason why we are such a big fan of Coffee with Karan, because people come show the real side to the world or, or Karan makes or explores the real side of those celebrities up there. So when you start listening to real-time stories, when you start listening to explanation in a longer format, when you're walking, you're on the, uh, when you're on your treadmill, when you're traveling, you may want to hear something like this, which has no advertisements coming in between. So podcast has its future in 2023. So it's still time for you to adapt to that. As a creator, it's a very important tool. As a brand, it's an innovation to have podcasts going because that's something new and that's something fresh for your audience. But stay consistent because that's very important in podcasting game. 16, focus on user-generated content. Create. Now, if you see the recent campaign that many brands have been doing, right? Um, they, they try to make celebrities dance on a particular music and allow their audiences to create content on that. It is important that you do not post about your brand all the time on your Instagram because people get bored. You should allow users to create content for you. It can be through contest. It can be through influencer collaboration. It can be through trending music. But you need to ensure that there's a lot more user-generated content because masala usme hota hai ki yaar, who is doing what? What's happening? What's happening with this brand? Why are these guys creating so cool content? So create that element of gossip in your strategy. Next, what's going viral in 20? What's gone viral in 2022? You need to learn that. Number one, relevant content. Okay. The more relevant people feel, for example, the moment you showcase a journey of a person who is bald to growing his hair and hair transplant specialist to that, people can relate to the pain of the person and how hot he looks. And he, everybody aspires to get that. 
So relevancy matters. Number two, hook steps and trending formats. This is something that went viral in 2022. Memes marketing is going to have its strongest future in 2023. So create a lot more memes. Number four, humor in content always works. Number five, campaigns like these. For example, Bonvita created uh, all its product in different formats, like uh, toilet cleaner, like, uh, uh, you know, different boxes, uh, egg boxes. And people were like, why has Bonvita created so many different products? And inside these products, they only had the regular bone vita. And the campaign was, you feel this is forced, then don't force your child to become something else. Let them be who they are. And that campaign went viral. Campaigns with social messages always go viral. So keep that as an important part of 2023. Next, transitions always work. So this is something that's been going viral. So try to adapt transitions for brands and storytelling. When you capture multiple videos in a format of blog and textually you put story or you have a voiceover in the story format, that's something that people likes to see because what's starting and how is it ending, it really makes a lot of difference to the world out there. Next, I'm going to talk about the ad styles that worked for me in 2022. How many of you here are interested in learning this? Just say me in the chat right now. If you're interested in learning this, bring that energy right now. Lovely, lovely. First, Something which got me the best sale. I'm going to talk about that. Number one, I have always created videos for brands where I'm going to go, oh, hi guys, I am going to come up with a workshop and blah, blah, blah. It did not get me much sale. But the moment I kept high energy, hey guys, this is so-and-so. The energy excites people. So if you're having a spokesperson and you're creating communication that would create excitement, you need to show the excitement in your video because it holds your audience's attention. In some of my best sales video has transitions in the first three seconds and that got me the maximum conversions possible. So excitement is very, very important in the video. Second, while excitement is important, people buy real things. So if you're selling a product, let's say I'm selling an AC remote control and I'm going to keep it very simple, stupid. Mobile can capture your video. You can capture using mobile phones also. But when you're capturing using mobile phone, explain the product. Hey, guys, this product is for 99. And let me tell you what's inside this product. This product has so and so features. So explain things in detail because people like to buy a product once they feel, oh, this is the best product that I can ever buy for myself. So this is value for money. So what I'm trying to tell you, if you're not going to talk about your product in detail, they're not going to buy. So ensure if you want to sell better, always explain things in detail. So while you create excitement in first few videos, you need to have this going next. Videos that shows famous people. Now, this is important. I have worked with multiple different brands out there. And when I see that I have a famous person in my video, the click-through rates is much, much, much cheaper. And CTR is much, much higher. So I see that a lot of people are clicking on those ads because they see the famous personality out there. So either work with the famous influencer or famous celebrity. You're like, Kharcha, yeah, that's expensive. Yes, it's going to be expensive, but that's going to be rewarding. So you need to choose the right person for your brand, for your social media advertisements. Because I have seen, instead of just getting a random model, you create someone, you get someone who's known, you get better sales with them. Next, video that show results. So when I show my advertisement to the world for my client, for example, let's say Wookie is the brand that I work with and I show before and after. I'm sure some of you would have seen the Wookie advertisements, right? Tell me yes in the chat if you've seen Wookie ads. Now, Wookie ads shows people what the product was before and what the product is now. Like what? So what does the product do before and what does the product do after you see it? So let's say I'm cleaning a utensil, like the Vim Mads, right? Where people show the cleaning. So people patiently wants to see key product use hota hai ya nahi hota. So before and after results and ads work really well. When you show results of your successes, people want to see that for making that purchase decision with respect to your brand. Next, get quality photos in Carousel. I see people compromise. They just don't want to do the best for the brand. So what my recommendation is, have an allocated, unique, creative photo shoot. So that when people look at the photo shoot and the brand and the model, they will know this product is coming from this particular brand. So your photography can define the uniqueness. So we have always seen that great quality photos, which is very unique, standing distinguished, get us better sale. 
and that's important. So just don't do a regular camera se click kiya photograph. Try to go in concept photography. Showing multiple top selling products work really well for me. So instead of experimenting and doing multiple product showcase, what I always do is I definitely experiment with all product showcase and whatever sells the most, the top three or top four inside your website. You need to consider that as your hero product. And then you do everything for the hero product. Get the influencers, do the best campaigns, best photography, best artists, best landing pages, best testimonials, everything that you can do. Because what's selling in the market will bring more people onto your site. And once they purchase and they like your product, they will purchase again. The biggest mistake marketers try to do is they try to push all of the products, which doesn't work. So if you want to really make it a success, sell the same product again and again and again, because India is a pretty big market or the world is a big canvas for you to sell the same product to a lot more people. So figure out which is the product that people likes the most. So see that some, these are some amazing tips for you in the social media marketing space. And I hope you guys learned a lot in this session.